The, the kind of story that you guys have told is an inspirational story that, um, and you know, there are lots of inspirational stories coming out of Africa. Why this one specifically? You know, the story of Fiona Mutesi, a young, plucky 10-year-old, you know, from the worst slum of Uganda called Katwe, um, who is taught how to play chess by a young man also from those streets who sees this intelligence, this genius right in front of him and harnesses it into being. It's a beautiful and utterly true story that teaches us to dream, that it is possible uh, to have achieved your potential regardless of where you come from. So for me, it was a great privilege to tell and capture the style, the vibrancy, the lifeism, you know, the belief that no matter what we have, we have to live fully. Uh, I love that. That's what I get turned on by. And, and to be able to bring a positive and realistic story of a Africa, uh, which does not require and need white saviors to come and help us, you know, get water from a well or whatever, uh, is it's about time. I know you feel very strongly, but could you just take us through why an all-African cast and why um, it's important for you to shoot in Africa? There is nothing more empowering than to see ourselves, our color, our language, our slang, our style, our, our values, our dignity on screen. And uh, this was a chance for me to do that, you know, in a Ugandan story told authentically. Uh, because I believe that if you are authentic, if you are powerfully specific and local, you have the seed to become uni universal because people recognize that. They see that I might be taking you to a whole new world of Katwe, but over there you might see yourself because people are people. How are you taking what you've been through personally and putting that on, onto what uh, people are, yeah. are seeing on film? Since I live in Uganda, for several years and, and love the vibrancy of everyday life, you know, the redness of the earth, the green of the flora, the incredible sassiness of the style, uh, the fact that it is the center of used clothing in the world, so people pick, a, pick this item with that and make something really cool about it, you know. The emphasis on education, the emphasis on going to school regardless, these are things people don't know about our lives. And uh, it was a chance to distill what I love and know from within. And, um, and tell us what you love about South Africa and if you've had a chance to go around and see anything and what draws you to, to being in South Africa? Well, I, uh, what I love most about South Africa are my friendships. I have deep and abiding friendships here, creative and deep friendships for you know, 25, 30 years. Uh, I love the light in South Africa. Uh, I, I, I learned how to teach film in South Africa in Cape Town when I created a class for six months in three townships and studied and taught what I knew of cinema. Um, um, I love, you know, I love the nature. I, you know, for me, if, just to be in the in the in the mountains, in the gardens, in the fine boss, in the you know, I, for me, it's the deepest inspiration. I'll never forget, you know, the pain of South Africa too, and the fact that it has, you know, the that is for me uh, something I palpably feel in the art, in the people, in the struggle, in the in the everyday life. Um, so it is something that I cannot forget, but. Um, and, but it's also very beautiful to see, uh, to see how the country evolves and comes to peace with itself.